Okay, this is a cool little product. This was uh, sent into the channel by Icy Station, and um, it, it seems to be it seems to be useful. Um, if you want a five 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 timer, and you want to know what it's actually set to, so you can adjust like the resistor on a five five five, and it, it'll give you a clock. But then you have to go measure it to figure out what it is and everything. You kind of would like to know where it is. So what this is is basically a 555 with a, it's, it's not, it's microprocessor based, but it's, it's like a 555 and it gives you frequency and duty cycle. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So this is a frequency in kilohertz. Uh, this is a decimal point there. And this is a 50% duty cycle, all right? So if we come over here, uh, yeah, it's pretty accurate. Uh, 1.0006 kilohertz. So yeah, pretty accurate. And then the duty cycle is kind of hard to read. It's 49.91%. So yeah, uh, quite good. So this up down arrows, if you want to change the uh, uh, frequency here, you can go up and you can go down. If you go down, the decimal point disappears and now you're in, you're in hertz. Okay. So you can go down to uh, some, you know, 869 hertz. 50% uh, and then you can go up in duty cycle and down in duty cycle. Um, if you go up, if you hold it, it'll start to speed up a little bit. You do have to wait quite a while. Um, there it goes. Let's see how fast we can make it go. So coming up on 10 kilohertz and it stops at 10 kilohertz and then you have to let up and then you have to go again. Uh, which is kind of nice, 17 kilohertz. Um, so the one thing I don't like about it is, I'll show you here, let it count up a bit, 80, 90. Okay, so we're up here at uh, 95.2 kilohertz. And if we want to go to 100 kilohertz, uh, sneak up on it here. Okay, 99, let's check the frequency here. Uh, it's measuring 99.16, all right, and let's change the duty cycle. Let's change the duty cycle. Let's zoom in on this so we can see it. So I'm going to change the duty cycle to something small. Let's change it to 25%. There's 25% and it's measuring 16.1. Uh, that's not very good. <laughs> okay, so that's off. Um, we'll check that at a lower... Uh, lower clock rate. Maybe it's more accurate at a lower clock rate, but it's pretty bad right now. All right. So the thing that I don't like besides that <laughs> is if you go up, you can go to 99.9 kilohertz. And then if you want to go to hundred kilohertz, it goes to one kilohertz. It, it falls off the top. It doesn't stop. It falls off the top and goes to 999 hertz. Um, and you can't go back. If you go, if you go down, you're still in hertz land. So once you get to around 999, stop, right? Anyway, so let's uh, let's check the duty cycle out here. Let's go back to a one, oops, one kilohertz, and we'll check the check the duty cycle here at one kilohertz. See if it's any more accurate. <clears throat> and yeah, it's a lot better. It's 24.9 percent. So at low frequencies, the uh, duty duty cycle is just fine. It just falls apart as it gets up near its very, very top end. Um, probably losing resolution, right? The number of bits. It probably has eight bits of resolution for the band uh, for the uh, duty cycle, and it just runs out of runs out of bits. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a cool little device. Uh, let me let me turn it off here, and I'll I'll show it to you a little bit closer up. Oh, let me, while I'm thinking about it, let me show you the modification I made to my scope probe. <laughs> so, uh, I, I never liked, I never liked these, uh, little alligator clips on the end of, uh, and the end of scope probe, uh, leads. And so, uh, I had an old, uh, scope probe lead and I, I, and I put a, a, a Bapona mini grabber on it. So, yeah, so upgrade. Okay. Um, yeah, let's take a look at this thing a little closer. If it focuses, you can focus. There it goes. All right, so the back uh, looks like there's probably a little chip that's probably a serial chip to talk to the two, uh, two displays and then a microprocessor. So yeah, that's about it.
or maybe even the other way around. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, TM1637. That's probably the uh, display driver. And then a, is there a part number on here? Yeah, it's an STC 15W204, so a little microprocessor. And then there's a voltage regulator there. Oops, sorry, off the screen. Voltage regulator there. And uh, that's, what it, that's what it looks like. It's in Chinese, but uh, frequency and uh, duty cycle. And then a little header down here, and everything's doubled. There's two pins for VCC, two pins for ground, and two pins for output. So there you go. And if you're interested, I'll put a link below.